This week, our adventures take us here to beautiful Monument Valley on the border between Arizona and Utah, a fabulous place to RV, especially if you're a fan of old westerns. Let's explore Monument Valley. Between uh, this mesa right here in the front, it's a uh, sentinel mesa as a boy. This is a sacred place filled with dramatic freestanding rock formations that have been carved over millions of years. You can feel the reverence of Monument Valley and the Navajo people as you arrive. They have made this place home for centuries. The landscape also provides one of the most definitive images of the American West. The isolated red mesas surrounded by the empty desert have been filmed and photographed countless times over the years. For this reason, on first approach, the area might seem a bit familiar to those of us who have seen some of the classic westerns filmed here. Pop! Is that Lil's house on Knob Hill as high as that? There's hardly a year that goes by that we don't have a dozen or more commercials or, or movies made in this area, and, and every one of them is fantastic. You can't get a bad shot in Monument Valley. For our viewers visiting Monument Valley, this is your place at Gouldings. It's a one-stop shop. You've got a fabulous RV park, a lodge, a swimming pool, guided tours of the valley, and a museum behind me where you can learn the interesting history of Harry and Mike Goulding who started this whole thing. Mike was Harry's nickname for his wife, Leona. They moved to this area in 1923 to live and work among the Navajo people. The valley was hit hard by the Great Depression of the late 20s. So Harry came up with an idea to revive the local economy by driving all the way to Hollywood with his young wife to sell director John Ford on the idea of shooting a Western in the beautiful setting. And a month later, the movie Stagecoach was in full production, starring a young actor by the name of John Wayne. It became a tradition to stay at Goulding's for the warm hospitality, and that tradition still exists today. We have everything in-house. We run like a small town. We're the only place here that we take care of our own water system, our own sewer system. Uh, we just do it all, but there's gas, uh, groceries, propane, motel, campground, laundromat, restaurant, uh, terrific RV park. The nearby park has 66 full hookup sites and another 60 tent sites with great views of the now famous valley. There is a convenience store and picnic tables with grills for cooking out in the amazing western setting. A shuttle service is also available to take guests to the lodge, gift shop, museum, and a must for any visitor, a guided valley tour. Pancake Rock behind us, and I can see why they call it Pancake Rock. Yeah, well, it's a nice view. A lot of uh, professional photographers come out here Take these pictures, you've probably seen these on the postcards. Oh yeah. So this is, uh, it's hard to get to, to this place to, <laughs> now, while we're driving up and you had to use four wheel drives. I noticed that you were bouncing up over the rocks here. Oh yeah, yeah. So some of these nice places that it's hard to get to. Yeah, and not so, many people get to this location, do they? Nah, no. And behind us we have some fabulous ruins, don't we Ashley? Yeah, yeah, that one's called uh, Square House Ruins. Yeah, what does that it's, date back uh, to? Well, they, they say Anasazi Indians that were out here between 900 through 1300 A.D. Mm. And uh, so right in the area, that's when these people used to live here. And do these uh, monuments have separate names here? Yeah, most of the monuments named by the profile, how the, uh, the shapes are. That's how they got the names. How about this one right over here, right over the, uh, uh, the jeep here? big one behind us, it's, uh, it's called Gray Whiskers. Mm -hmm. Gray Whiskers, that one's named after a uh, Navajo man who used to live here in this area. Oh, really? The full day tour also includes a stop for lunch in a box canyon for the best tasting cheeseburger you can imagine. The four wheel drive tour with a Navajo guide is the only way to truly see Monument Valley. On your way from Monument Valley to Canyon de Shea, you gotta stop at Four Corners. Only place in the country where you can visit four states in less than 10 seconds. Let's see, here's Arizona, Utah, Colorado and New Mexico. There you go. How are you enjoying the RVing here? We love it. Yeah. Yeah, we love it. And so you're visiting Four Corners. You can visit four states in what, uh, 10, 15 seconds? We are. Yeah. We're going to take, take pictures too so we can, the kids can remember it. But oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Great. So where are you RVing? The drive across the expanse of Navajo Nation in northeastern Arizona cuts through the beautiful Red Rock. And along the way, you'll run into other RVers discovering the area as well, some pulling some serious toys. 
This is beautiful Canyon de Chez on the eastern side of the Navajo Nation. It consists of three major canyons and over 700 ruin sites. You can take two scenic drives that take you past many of these amazing vistas. And you got your map and your dog looks like you're heading out this morning. Yeah, we're going to head on the north rim of Canyon de Chez today and check those overlooks today. Yeah, it's a beautiful area, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Mm -hmm. We went to the south rim and we hiked down to the uh, Oh, the White House. It was a great, beautiful day yesterday. Oh yeah, we were here. So that's quite a hike down to the White House ruins. Yeah, for an old fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> and this campground's here. How do you like the campgrounds? It's great. Just super. The price is right. The price is right. We kept trying to pay someone, but they said it was free, and I said, what? So The beautiful canyon scenics and Native American history draws our viewers and visitors from all over the world. So you did your research ahead of time then? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a quite a strict itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> a strict itinerary. Strict See, itinerary. I like just the way you say that. <laughs> if I'd be interviewing an American, they go, well, we didn't know what we were going to yeah. see. Uh. <laughs> just kidding there. We meet plenty of articulate Americans on the road every week, as we did during our visit to the incomparable Monument Valley. Coming up, we take a look at the Jayco J Feather Baja. 